I'm going to show you how to use our editable files that come with any of the Katori Studio packages that you purchase. And while we think it's important for you to have a couple of sample pieces so you can show your clients the quality of our pieces, we also know that you want to be able to show all of the different pieces in the line without having to purchase everything. And this is a great way to share the jewelry with your own images for your blog or your website or even your online galleries. So you can see here, I've pulled up our editable file for our Lori Nordstrom cuff, and it's basically an unflattened PSD. And I'm using Photoshop Elements for a Mac, but this will work with regular Photoshop, it'll also work with a PC. So all you need to do is pull up your editable file, and then pull up an image you want to use. And I'm using some of the photography by Emily Potts Photography, which looks amazing in the jewelry, I think. So you see that I simply click and drag it to bring it over to the editable file, and it puts it right on top of that cuff. Well, all I need to do is come over here to my Layers palette, and simply take that layer with the image and drag it below the layer that says Insert Image Below. See how that popped it right into that piece of jewelry? Now I can simply resize it. I can rotate it as necessary and put it just exactly the way I want it to look. I click the check mark when I'm finished. And now to make this with a nice white background, I can simply flatten my layers. And there we have it with a nice, clean, classic white background. So it was really simple, and I'm going to show it to you one more time how to do it, and this time we're going to use a different background. So here we have our Kimberly Wiley bangle, and again I'm just going to pull up an image, simply click, drag to bring it over. I'm going to take that layer, and I'm going to bring it down beneath the layer that says insert image below. And there it is inside the piece of jewelry. So obviously we need to resize this, because I don't think we want to focus on his shirt we can rotate it, make it fit in there just exactly the way we want it. Make it a little bit bigger, and when I'm happy, that's all I need to do. Now, what we're going to do this time is we're going to take the layers and we're going to merge visible layers. Let me scoot him out of the way. And that makes the piece of jewelry all one. So if I want, I can pull up a background, and we do provide several backgrounds for you to use. Um, and all you have to do is drag over the piece of jewelry so it's in the background. We have a wood background, we also have one that looks kind of like a honeycomb pattern, and we have a couple others to choose from. And of course you don't have to use the backgrounds that we've provided. You could use one that fits your branding if you use a lot of black or use a lot of brown or burlap in your branding. Definitely use that as your background. We want it to fit with the images on your blog or your website and fit with your brand. Feel free to uh, email us if you have any questions, info at mycatori.com, and we'd be happy to answer your questions.